Fedora Linux is easy to install, but it's sensitive to data loss and faulty hardware by default. Here are some additional steps to enhance stability. Consider how the system bootloader enables system administrators to recover a malfunctioning system, but is really available to anyone with physical access. The system is started in rescue mode with a root shell and with the file system mounted as writable. From here it's possible to copy data and alter the entire system, all without entering a single password. Enable disk encryption during setup to protect against this feature being exploited and help mitigate data exposure if disk drives are stolen. Encryption is the method of transforming data from plain text into an unreadable format. The data is encoded with a key used to decipher and restore the data into a usable state. A fresh system may be set up in mere minutes by running a sequence of commands from its command line interface, the shell. The shell can accept commands entered from a keyboard, and it certainly is possible to enter one command after another to configure the entire system, but that would be tedious and tiresome. The shell also accepts commands to be read from a file known as a shell script, a common approach to automate repetitive tasks. A scripted approach to configure a new system will not only reduce the time spent on setup, but also make your workspace more transferable to other devices. A file sync service securely synchronizes files across trusted devices in real time via the network or the internet ensuring portability, redundancy, and backup. Downtime is minimized and work can resume on any available device. Google Drive and Dropbox are popular alternatives, but I prefer Synology because data remains on the local network, away from prying eyes. But this workflow applies to any sync service. Synology Drive copies local data from a sync folder to a private cloud appliance on the network. An essential file for any workstation is the bash rc shell configuration file. Let's move it to the sync folder and then create a sim link to the home directory. This ensures that the updates to the bash rc file in the home directory are reflected on the sync folder. Let's assume we set this workstation up from scratch and apply the same approach to some of the default directories. Files stay local to the workstation to ensure performance, but are also mirrored for safekeeping. 